I introduce myself. I'm going to wash my hands right now. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to verify my patient's identity. So I note the wristband and I ask the patient for his full name and date of birth and if he has any allergies. I check that against my EMR and everything checks out correctly. Prior to coming in the room, I um, check the provider's orders and I am to give an IV bolus of a medication that has been ordered for this patient. Prior to doing, um, prior to drawing up my medication in the med room, I check to make sure that this patient's condition is appropriate for that medication. I did any previous assessments that I needed to do um, and I also checked any um, allergies that the patient may have and all of those checked out well. The patient um, is getting this medication, it is indicated, they are not allergic to it and um, they have a saline lock so I'm going to give it IV push as ordered. So I did my first two medication checks in the med room against the MAR and now I'm doing my third check at the bedside against the MAR um, as well. So I do that and I already have my medication drawn up. I also have the vial with me to do my third check. I also checked in the um, drug resource that the, what the medication is and the prescribed rate that I should be giving the medication. So I brought my supplies in the room. Since the patient has a saline lock, I have um, two um, pre-filled normal saline preservative free um, flushes with me as well as my disinfectant. So now I'm going to go ahead and start my procedure. I'm going to lower the side rail and I'm going to raise the head of the bed to a comfortable height, explaining to the patient that I have this medication that the provider has ordered for their condition. And I also provided with any um, possible side effects and I asked if they understood and they understood correctly what I'm, what I'm going to be performing. All right, so I have the IV saline lock here and I have all my supplies. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands one more time. As I look at the IV site, I'm assessing it. I'm making sure that it looks okay from inspection, which it does. The site is clear. The IV is intact. It, the dressing is also intact. I don't see any drainage around the IV site. I don't see any erythema and I don't see any swelling that may indicate that it is infiltrated or infected. However, I'm still gonna check to make sure that it is patent and that I'm able to push my IV medication through there. I'm just gonna open up my supplies, check the expiration date on my supplies, and my saline flushes. I've also checked against the MRI, MAR. Okay, so I have both of these open. I have my disinfectant and I have my medication. Now I'm going to wash my hands one more time and I'm going to apply gloves. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get my IV site it's clamped. And I'm going to go ahead and disinfect the needleless connector for at least five seconds, vigorous scrub. Okay, making sure that I do not touch that. And then I'm going to go ahead and prepare my saline. And I'm going to attach that to my needleless connector on clamp and you're going to aspirate for blood return which you see and then you're going to flush with the amount prescribed by your facility in this case I'm doing three mls and then I'm going to clamp I'm going to remove discard of this Disinfect in between five seconds. Now I have my medication that I'm going to be giving. I'm 
unclamp. When I flushed, I can tell it flushed well. There was no resistance, so it's patent, and the site still looks very good. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to administer my medication at the prescribed rate. At the same time, I'm asking my patient how they, their IV is feeling and how they are feeling. I did any prior assessments that I needed to do. The medication is in at the prescribed rate. I'm going to clamp. I'm going to remove the syringe. I'm going to apply another flush to make sure that my medication is getting in all into the patient. So if there's anything left in the tubing, that has been that we push into the patient. But I'm going to go ahead and flush at the same rate as the medication that I gave so that I'm not giving a quick bolus of that medication that might be left in this tubing. So once that is in at the prescribed rate, I'm going to clamp and remove my syringe. Discard of all my supplies appropriately. Again, ask the patient how they're doing. Do any post assessments that you need to do. Wash my hands, and then I'm going to go ahead and raise the bed, or lower the bed, excuse me. Put the side rail up, put the patient in a comfortable position, and culture of safety, bed locked and lowered, call light within reach, and tray table by the patient, and go ahead and wash my hands and exit the room and make sure that I document my, what I have done, the medication that I gave, and how the patient tolerated it, and also you want to document that IV assessment that you did as well.